Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve. Um, it is 7.23 a.m. Um, over here in southern New Jersey. I couldn't sleep, guys. I was up since 5. It could have been earlier. I ran to Wawa. I grabbed a coffee at Wawa. I came back. I sat, drank my coffee, watched a little bit of news. And I wanted to shoot this video because, well, that's just the best way to kick off the day, right? With a good little video. And uh, so I figured, let me come up and do it because this is what I love to do. And that's about it, really. So we're gonna have to get into this one because there's a lot to be said and we don't want the video to just uh, take two days to do. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna need a lot of help with this particular piece here. Um, this, both of these pieces are copperhead uh, pattern pieces. Uh, this one is my Shat and Morgan copperhead, single bladed copperhead in white smooth bone. And uh, yeah, I just love it. Um, it is, according to the seller, it was a brand new piece, unmolested, uh, never used. And you can tell it was never used. Uh, you can clearly see it was never sharpened, never used. Um, that's, that's exactly what it is. Now we're going to, uh, start by telling you guys, uh, when I purchased this a while back, um, uh, the gentleman on eBay made me a, a fantastic deal. Um, this piece was very, I'm not going to say very affordable, but it was affordable. It was a good price. It was a good price to the point to where I had to, I had to get it. I had to get it due to the circumstances that the seller did not know the year of this piece. Okay. Um, I did go ahead and still purchase it under them circumstances. Um, now this is where I'm going to need your help. Um, I'm going to try and show it to you the best I can. I'm going to give you some zoom in shots here and some close ups the best I can. I'm going to show you that tang without the light clearing, which it's doing, of course. Well, it says Shat in Morgan. It says, uh, S and M, and it says Titusville PA. It says Titusville PA. That's what it says, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. That's all it says on that side of the tank. Shat and Morgan, Titusville PA. Then we give her, well, we'll give you a look at the etching here. It says Shat and Morgan. One of 30, okay? All right, so we're gonna give you a look at this beautiful, 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 smooth white bone. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a, a flip. And um, we're gonna give you this side and it says DFC. That stands for, and you got the queen um, emblem, the queen stamp right there with the crown above it. If you can make that out, you got the queen stamp and it says DFC. And uh, that stands for uh, Daniels, Daniels, oh, something cutlery. I got it written down. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me just see if I could. 
Daniels Family Cutlery. I always forget that last one. But let's see if I could give you a shot of that. DFC. Daniels Family Cutlery. And you have the uh, queen stamped there with the uh, thing above it, the crown above it, okay? So it is a true, it's, it's not a question whether it's a true uh, Shatton Morgan piece or not. The question is uh, finding out the year, okay? Um, I didn't have much time to start digging into um, this piece, but what I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to try and bring up a bunch of images um, on the single bladed copperhead and uh, see if I could get in the general vicinity of the year. See if I could find this blade shape, single bladed copperhead, long match strike pull. Um, look at all of the, the tang stamps. Look at everything carefully and see if I could put it together the best that I can. Now, if you guys uh, could help me, that would be just spectacular. Uh, but there it is again. I'm trying to, what this lighting is just, just terrible. It says Daniel's Family Cutlery DFC on that side. And you got the queen uh, stamp there, the Q, the Q and the, cr the crown above that, okay? And once again on this side, we have Shatton Morgan, Titusville, PA, on that side of the tang. And that's what that reads on that side of the tang. But just a fantastic piece. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, like I said, the guy gave me a, a, a what I think is a pretty nice deal on it because... I guess he felt, not that he felt bad that he didn't know the year, but he did kind of sort of. He was like, I, I don't know the year. Um, he didn't say where he got it. He didn't tell me where he got it. He didn't tell me. He did say he had it for a while. He said he had it for a while. And it was brand new. Uh, according to, to what he saw on it, it was brand new. And the pictures and all that and what I, what I saw of it, it, we made the conclusion that it was a brand new piece. It was unused, unmolested. This is definitely an unmolested piece. And, um, but yeah, um, if you guys could uh, shed some light on this one, it'd be fantastic. Um, but other than that, I'll just do some digging and see what I could come up with and see if I could get close to what year this is. You know what I mean? get close to it, so, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's like, I mean, 2000, it's got to be, I don't even know, I don't want to put a date on it, I don't know how, how old this thing is, I don't think it's that old, I don't think it's that, that old, you know what I mean, that I can tell you, um, but that's the single bladed copperhead there. And this piece here I have out for comparison. Not really so much a comparison, but just this is my other uh single bladed copperhead that I just I, I just adore. You know what I mean? Um I got this one a while a, 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 quite a few years ago. Um I acquired this piece and it's just a I, I, you know how I am with these copperheads, you know what I mean? And a single bladed copperhead is just, they're really, really, really nice. Boker makes, um, really, really nice pieces. They, 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 they can, uh, they can really make a, a wonderful piece as well. Um, but this has got a beautiful clip point on it. Also a long, uh, a long strike, a long uh, pull on it. 
Um, what's this tang say? I can't, the lighting, I can't even read it behind there. Uh, Boker Sologen. That's what it says there. On this side has nothing. And it's got this, on this side, it's got this wonderful, wonderful. You got this real deep. Just look at that stag. Look at that stag on that side. Isn't that beautiful? Just, just simply beautiful. Yeah. There's the Boker uh, inlay. The good old Boker inlay on it with the tree. Just fantastic. And that's going to be it, guys. For uh, That's going to just about going to do it. Um, but, yeah. I wanted to show you these. I wanted to get the day started off right. And, um, well, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to toss this up on Instagram after this in a second and take some close-ups and see if anybody else has any kind of um, clue on how close or, or the year on this piece. But I'm confident that you guys could help me. I'm very, very confident that you guys could probably get in the vicinity of the year of this guy. I just wish this thing would not uh, be so uh, glaring with this light. I got to do something with that immediately after this video. Let's see. There you go. It says... You got that queen uh, stamp again, the Q and DFC, Daniel's family cutlery. Shat and Morgan. And then you got the Titusville PA on there, on that side. That's what she reads. And there's not anything else. Um that has anything else on this piece that you could tell by the year of this. There's no other markings, you know what I mean? There's nothing, nothing. But this piece is definitely, look into the inside of it. It's definitely clean. Um, you can tell by the the blade. You can tell, look at it, there you go. You could tell by that blade. It That blade was never, ever used, never cut, never nothing, not one time. Got that side. You got the Shatton Morgan 1 to 30 on that side. The etching on that there. And that's it. And that's all she wrote. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a fantastic piece, guys. It's beautiful in the hand. Beautiful size. Um, all transitions are all, everything's beautifully done, you know. Just the way they're supposed to be. Just the way a shat, a shat is supposed to be. And this boker will leave it with this boker being as equally as good. If not better. If not better. But uh, they're both two fantastic stunning pieces. And uh, yeah, I figured this would be a beautiful way to start Christmas Eve off. And, uh, that's it. That's it. I don't know if I'm going to get to a fire today, guys. I'm not sure about that. Um, I did receive something, but I have to do a separate video later on today. I received a gift through the mail. And I do believe I know who it's from. But there was no name, um on the package it straight up was on my it got dropped off nine o'clock last night from amazon okay right on my doorstep and i was like amazon i'm getting used to it now actually nine o'clock at night i went to the door and there the package was and i opened it up and i sat there for a couple minutes because i totally forgot that this person told me that they were sending me something and I opened it up and I said, I, I said, who is this from? I'm looking at the label. I'm trying to find a label, everything. 
No label, just my name on it, addressed to me. Addressed to me only. And um, that's where it's at. But I do believe I know who it is. We're going to go over that one later on today. Later today. But anyway, guys, I really, really, truly and sincerely hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I know I mentioned this 30 times already. But this is the day. Tomorrow is the day. Today is the day. So couldn't be more fitting and say it one more time. So guys, really, um, I really appreciate everything that you've done for me throughout the year. Uh, you've been, you guys have been just fantastic. And uh, I goof around a lot. I play around a lot. I, uh, you know, I'm not the most serious cat in the, uh, in the uh, game, but uh, you guys get me. You know, that's what's important. You just understand what I'm about. You know what I mean? It's all about fun and this, that, and the other. And sometimes I take it a little too far and I, you know, I get all excited and I poke names at companies and all this other stuff because I just get all wild and stuff. But for the most part, everybody understands me and gets me. I'm actually a normal human being. If you met me uh, behind, outside of behind this uh, this phone here, as that we'll, we'll leave it at that. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty much normal guy. So, all right, guys. I'm rambling again. See, I got to catch myself. Anyway, we're gonna let you go. Um, have a beautiful day. And let me know about the chat, Morgan, if you know anything about it. I'm going to toss it up on Instagram. Look at these close-ups on Instagram because the pictures are good on Instagram. All right, guys. You be good, be uh, well, be safe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Definitely soon. Be good, guys. Bye-bye now.